Hey guys, Master Zeon here. Um, now today I'm going to be going over just real quick this script, particular script right here, and just a little bit about it. Um, now, Blender Nation, of course, is um, one of my favorite sites. Always has the latest in news, especially when they say good news like this, like the new version of Blender coming out and whatnot. Um, so let's go up to this now. On this particular post there they tell you a little bit about it there's a script and then there's a thread on it now on the script on the thread they were talking about how you would probably need to use the um, Z offset option that can be used to fine-tune the display now I've already actually clicked on this link and download the script and if we go to uh, Blender Builds, here we go. I got the script right here now. Um, just go inside your 2.6 directory, inside of scripts, add ons, and then paste it here. Now, I already have it pasted and already in my file, so um, let's go ahead and begin. Now, this is the render. All it did was I was modeling a. I was actually making like an idea for like a blender whiskey bottle, and I went into the um, quick effects and chose object quick effects quick explode and tuned it up a little bit, and that's what got me here. Nothing fancy, just something to have on the screen instead of a cube. Now, if we go up here and we search for wire you see set up wire as materials and we can click the X now whenever you do this it's good to save your file it's probably also good to save it hit the plus increment it by one save it again that way you have your old file one thing I've always liked about blender is that the files are so lightweight now we select every object in the scene we choose apply materials and now we have these two basic materials now if we go down here under the Z offset we see it's 0 0.50 let's change it to 0 0.2025 actually and let's see what we get Alright, uh, now let's change it to 0.025 for the Z offset. We'll hit J just so we can compare it and open a new slot, render again. Also, the geometry looks a little thick for this. So we'll select just the shards, go over here. And what do we got here? Alright, so we check optimal display and whatnot. Down. Down. And the order of your modifiers has, a, of course, a large influence on how it comes out of rendered view, but it looks like it, with all the modifiers I have on the glass, it's not going to let me simplify the geometry. I guarantee you it's not as thick as it's looking there, but there you have it. So this is a quick way to get a render. Now, before this add-on came out, I used to have to do it a different way. You could either pull out a UV image editor, Texture, and we just call this cube UV, and we'll just make it that. Mm. Actually, let's go ahead and 
turn on image painting. I actually did not want to make this black. So if you TNN in this, you can go ahead and change the colors and paint directly on your UV. Otherwise, you can also go in 3D view after assigning it as a texture and then do texture painting. But for this, we probably want this to be all white. So control up. F3 to save your image. I'm just going to go to my previous one. I'm going to save this as cube UV and tap out. Now I'm just going to go ahead and choose smart UV project just so it unwraps it nicely. And then okay and then you have to choose image I believe it's export. Here we go. UVs. Got to turn off the um, live paint mode or whatever it's called, and export layout. I will just export this uh, whiskey bottle. Cube UV. Export UV layout. Now we can see our edges, and then I would have to go over here, apply it as material, apply my image, and all of that, and that would pretty much be it. Now it begin being able to render this as a wireframe. Um, and the other way would have been to take this cube, duplicate it add a shriek wrap modifier, make it shriek wrap to the cube, and then change this to render as wire here so it looks like a wire in the viewport, and then let's make sure we got the right cube, nope we don't, wire, and we would have to delete this material, give it a wire material, And if we rendered that out, we'd get our edge. So, as you can see with this example, wrong example, wait, it was the right example, you see that with this add on, you can just do it in one click, get your clay render out there so you can do whatever it is that people do with clay renders. So hopefully that'll help you get a better idea, Iron Spy, and that'll do it. See you soon.